good evening. I'm so pleased that so many of you could join us this evening and I hope you will have a thoroughly enjoyable experience. When I was born, both families deemed my teenage parents too young to care, thought their professed undying love was unrealistic and would soon disappear. The decision was made. I'd live in my maternal grandparents' home. I grew up happy, secure, it was all I'd ever known. My parents were convinced, they knew how they felt and they made their own life plan. And soon after that, their 35 years of happy marriage began. Throughout my childhood, I always remember having to explain to others why I didn't live at home with my parents, my sister and my brothers. Wondering why the people at the school gate weren't called mum and dad. It made me feel a little weird, but somehow never sad because the love, security and structure my grandparents were able to give me as I grew helped to create the person I am now and enable me to do the things I do. But at 17, my whole world changed when my grand suffered a major stroke. She was left severely paralyzed couldn't walk and hardly ever spoke. Whilst friends were at parties and had free time to spare, I was helping Nan to remember how to spell her name and comb her hair. When granddad died, everybody said I needed a life. Nan had to go into a home, but I stood up to everybody. I certainly wasn't gonna leave her alone. Only as an adult did I discover how much my grandparents gave to care for me. So many sacrifices just to ensure my well-being was always their priority. Later, as a family law solicitor, I often represented kinship carers in court and saw how unprepared many were, and it really wasn't their fault. Our child welfare system can fail to support families that they expect to care, leaving many kinship carers in financial ruin and suffering from emotional despair. But remember, any one of our lives can have an unexpected derailment. And in your desperation, you wouldn't want to be told, sorry, it's a private arrangement. Would you even know that meant no guarantee of help to take care of someone new? Loving them is easy, but who pays for all the other stuff you've now got to do? That is one of the reasons I am so passionate about the work we do at FRG. Dedicated staff, trustees, and those with lived experience feel the same as me. We are a small, determined charity whose focus is to help those who come our way to get proper advice about the law, their rights and help families to have their say. I consider my opportunity to still care for my 96 year old gran who cared for me is one of the highest honors in my life that there could ever be. So to all you kinship carers out there, whatever the stage of your journey, I hope the children you love get their opportunity to show you their love eternally.